This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to solve the differentiation questions or using the new Casio 570 EX calculator. Right, so, okay, in exam, you might have the question similar like this. They will give you an equation, a curve, and they tell you this equation of the curve actually passing through one of the coordinates, which is point P here, 2, 4. And then they ask you to find the equation of normal to the curve. Right, so in order to solve the question like this, you kind of need to know how to find the equation uh, of normal. So normally I will give my student a few steps to find the equation of normal. Uh, first step is you will always do the dy dx here. And the second step, you will sub the x value into the dy dx. By doing this one, you actually you can get the gradient of tangent here. And then the third step, you want to find the uh, gradient of normal, then you will do the negative 1 over gradient of tangent. And then the fourth step, you will need to form the equation, which is straight line equation, y minus y1 equals to gradient of normal, and then x minus x1. So ask all my students, just follow uh, this four step, and then you can easily get about f five to six marks for this kind of questions. All right, so, okay, what we will do right now is we want to do the dy dx. But if you see the equation like this, when you want to do the dy dx, right, you kind of need to use the product rule, which is u and v. So the dy dx actually tells us that product rule is u differentiate v plus v differentiate u. Okay, this is the formula for product rule. So what I will do right now is when I say u, I will just copy whatever I have for u here, which is 2x. And when I want to differentiate v, right, I will just like differentiate v, the 4 I will move to the front, and then I will get 1 minus x. And then 4 minus 1 will give me 3. And then I want to differentiate inside the bracket which is negative 1. Because 1 minus x, if you differentiate it, you will get negative 1. Alright, then I close the bracket. And then I plus, copy the v, which is 1 minus x power 4. And then if I want to differentiate the u, which is just 2, because differentiate 2x, I will get 2 only. Alright, now I've done my first step. Alright, then I want to go to my second step. Is What I want to do is I want to sub the x value into the dy dx. What is my x value here? Which is 2. So I sub the 2 value into the, my dy dx here. So my dy dx this is step 2. Okay, previously it's step 1. Alright, so if I sub the 2 into here, it's like 2 times 2 here will give me 4. And then here is like 4. And then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 power of 1 above 3 here will be negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is just 1. Alright, then I plus. Well, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, power of 4 is just 1, times 2 is just 2. Right here is like 16 plus 2, which is 18. Right, so, and then I go to the step 3, which is, or do the final gradient of normal, which is negative 1 over gradient of tangent. You should know the 18 basically also means the gradient of tangent, because I say so in the step 2. So this is 18. Alright, then the last step is uh, I will form the equation by y minus y1. My y1 will be the y coordinate for gradient of normal is negative 1 over 18. And then x minus uh, x1, which is 2. And definitely over here, it depends on what kind of equation you want. So if you can accept or you want to make it into y equals n plus c, you can just like multiply y minus 4 equals to negative 1 over 18x. And then this one will be plus 2 over 18, which is 1 over 9. So my final equation should be simplified like y equals to negative 1 over 18x. And then 1 over 19 plus 1 over 9, sorry, 1 over 9 plus 4, I will get 37 plus 37 over 9. Yeah, this one will be my final equation of the normal. This is how uh, we will get the equation of normal here. Okay, but what I can use our the Casio calculator to do is I can use the calculator to easily get me the gradient of tangent here. Of course, you need to know how to type in the calculator. First, you need to tell the calculator you want to do a differentiation, which is a shift uh, integration sign here. You can see ddx over here. And then we just insert my equation, which is 2x. Open the bracket, 1 minus x. And then close the bracket, and then power of 4. 
right? This is how I will tell my calculator. And then the calculator always asks you about what is my x value. So which is the x coordinate this, this equation of curve actually passing by? Because sometimes in the exam, you have more than one coordinate. So you want to read the question very carefully. Like in this case, they will ask say something like equation of normal at the point P. So you take the x value of the point P. All right, uh, because this question actually I simplified, so you only have one coordinate. Normally you have more than one coordinate in the exam. So like uh, x coordinate will be two, then insert the two. Then the calculator will do the product rule and everything yeah, inside the calculator. So you will sh straight away get the 18 as answer. So you should know your gradient of tangent is correct here. All right, this is how easy you can use the Casio to double confirm your gradient of tangent because for a question like this is about five to six marks because normally part a they will ask you to find the uh, dy dx and then they and then only they will ask you to find the equation of normal or equation of tangent so if you can use the calculator to check whether your gradient of tangent is correct or wrong yeah it is so useful to make sure you like fully get the, the, the all the mark for this kind of questions anyway i hope you find this video helpful to you so if you are interested to buy this calculator I will share the Lazada link at my description below. The link will bring you to the Casio flagship store because right now, uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.